nominated for a New York State Emmy for the second consecutive year. This is New York Now. While the month of May rightly puts the focus on moms across the country, it's also a good reminder to shine the spotlight on the issue that affects around a quarter million of women here in the U.S. every year, and that's breast cancer. There's a bill right now that has bipartisan support in the legislature that could potentially help women find out if they have the disease, even when the mammogram says it's not there. Hallie Layton has lived in New York City her whole life. A freelance writer, she relishes walking out in the streets of her Harlem neighborhood. As someone with a significant history of breast cancer in her family, she started getting her annual mammogram at 35, five years before the recommended age. In 2009, she breathed a sigh of relief when her latest results came in. We are pleased to inform you that the results of your breast ex uh, imaging examination are normal. A year later, at a clinical examination, she became concerned after her examiner mentioned something about her breast implants, something she did not have. I said, what? And I felt it, and we both felt it, and it was, um, you know, it was, it was uh, when I felt them both at the same time, it was, it was definitely noticeable, and I said, oh my gosh, why didn't I, um, how, how, how could I you know, not have noticed this? And sh she said, well, it's, it's, it's not breast cancer because if it was, you wouldn't be here. But it was breast cancer, and she was told it was likely there when she had that mammogram back in 09. The problem was it was hidden. I saw the 2009 mammogram report that was sent to my gynecologist, and it said the breasts are extremely dense, which lowers the sensitivity of mammography. The news got worse. When they performed a bone scan of Hallie, they found the cancer had spread to her spine. This immediately put her in the stage four category of survival. It's not the one spot itself that, caught, that is the problem. It's the evidence that it's all over your body. If, if, it's, uh, if, if it's actually able to present, uh, to show up on a scan, it means that it's all over. My five-year survival rate was suddenly one in six. Joanne Pushkin of Long Island has undergone seven surgeries, eight rounds of chemo, and 30 rounds of radiation in her battle versus breast cancer. She too had dense tissue, unbeknownst to her. During a self-exam, I felt a lump. I called my doctor, who sent me immediately for a mammogram. The lump did not show up on a mammogram that same day. Why? Oh, said the tech, because you have dense breast tissue. That's a very hard find for us. So on the day my cancer was so large it could be felt, it was undetectable on a mammogram. Based on the size, it was estimated to have been growing five years, undetected, every single one of them, by mammography. When I finally reviewed all my annual radiological reports, I was shocked to learn that dense breast tissue was a term I should have been very familiar with. It was mentioned every single year in the report sent from my radiologist to my referring doctor. My radiologist knew I had dense breasts. My referring doctor knew I had dense breasts. The only one who didn't know was the one with dense breasts. Dr. Andrew Warheit is the medical director of the Breast Center at St. Peter's Hospital in Albany. He says dense tissue in women under the age of 50 is very common. How difficult is it to find a tumor if in someone who has dense breast tissue? The denser the breast, the more difficult it is to find the smaller uh, cancers that we're striving to find. So to find the two or three, four millimeter uh, early breast cancer in a very dense breast is extremely difficult. The analogy is always made of it's like looking for a polar bear on the North Pole. In your opinion then it, it's kind of it's almost a no-brainer then after a, a mammogram if you have dense breast tissue you should take that additional step? Absolutely. I think a follow-up screening mammogram in the proper clinical setting and the proper age group and the proper uh, mammogram uh, is very beneficial. The issue of dense breast tissue is not something you hear a lot about. Two state legislators are hoping to change that. Long Island Senator John Flanagan and Rockland County Assemblywoman Ellen Jaffe have introduced a bill to help stop what's happened to Hallie and Joanne. We've created language that would be placed within the mammography report to the women that would basically say that 
we need to want to make you aware that the mammography uh, indicates that you have dense breast tissue and that it, it's recommended that we suggest that you have a conversation with your physician regarding this issue which could um, be a problem in terms of um, uh, finding a, any kind of tumors that may you know be hidden uh, in a mammography and follow-up exams would be suggested with after a discussion with your physician. The joint legislation would require insurance companies to cover supplemental screenings for women with dense tissue. Breast cancer is a very emotional issue. Um, no one can deny that, but it's, I think when we're talking about legislating uh, how things are covered, we need to um, be able to put some of the emotion aside. Leslie Moran is a senior vice president for New York Health Plan Association. They are not in support of this bill. They point to a recent letter from the American Congress of Obstetricians and Gynecologists to the sponsors of this bill that says, among other things, all women are at risk of developing breast cancer regardless of their tissue patterns. The issue of breast density is very complex and there is limited science to provide directions for patients, their primary care providers, and breast imagers. We need to make sure that when we are talking about coverage of medical treatments that it makes the best medical sense, not the best legislative or emotional anecdotal sense. Not long after my diagnosis, I was waiting to see an oncologist when I struck up a conversation with a woman my age whose cancer had been detected in an earlier stage, a very early stage, she, uh, stage one, as, if, as I recall, she told me her cancer had not been detected by mammogram, but by sonogram. I asked her how her doctor knew to order a sonogram. She said she had seen an episode of Oprah <laughs> and that said to ask your radiologist if you had dense breasts and to request a sonogram if you did. This woman had been spared my fate, the equi clinical equivalent of death row, and all because she watched Oprah. Halley's points and the others who are trying to make this bill become law is you shouldn't be learning about dense breast tissue from Oprah or by accident. You should find out from that letter you get in the mail. I, I would be the, the prime candidate to be told this information and to be sent for additional sonogram screening. and. If, if, if I wasn't told, and if my, my gynecologist, if my doctor didn't tell me, then no, you know, no one is being told this information. Hallie has gone through a number of different treatments since her diagnosis, and while she appears in good spirits, the reminders of her cancer are constant. But the reality is, it's, sl it's slowly growing in my body, and uh, I now have a uh, I now have a lymph node uh, that's palpable in my neck that's the size of a golf ball. I don't want to get too, too graphic, but um, there are palpable things there to remind me that, uh, that this is not, this is not a, a dream, that, that this is reality. The bill is currently in the Assembly Insurance Committee, where 20 of the 25 members are co-sponsors of the bill. Other states have passed a similar law, including Connecticut and Texas. We'll keep you updated on its progress.